Hi, uh, we're here with Masame Imani, and full disclosure, Masame is my wife. Hey, Mas, how you doing? Hi, I'm good, thanks. So Masame is a producer. Uh, she produces film. So what have you produced? Um, I have produced two independent films. One was called How I Got Lost. Um, we screened at a bunch of festivals, and um, you can, I think, watch the film on... Uh, I think you can get it on iTunes and various other on-demand situations. And um, I recently produced a film called Fairhaven, which premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival and is distributed by Stars Digital Media. And you can also find that on iTunes and um, I think Amazon and a few other places. Uh, and who was in that one? Um, in Fairhaven, it was Chris Messina, who's on The Mindy Project and has been in countless movies, uh, Rich Summer from Mad Men, and Sarah Paulson, who is an American Horror Story and uh, was nominated for an Emmy recently for Game Change as well, and for American Horror Story, actually. So it was a pretty good cast. It was a great cast, yes, for a small independent film. We were very lucky. Uh, so a lot of people talk about producers. I mean, you know, oh, I produced this, I did this, but what does that really mean? What does a producer do? Well, there are different kinds of producers. Um, what kind are you? I'm more of a creative producer. I also end up doing a lot of line producing on the small movies that I do, which the line producer specifically deals with budgeting. And basically, uh, you know, a filmmaker will come to you with a script and will ask you to do a budget based on, you know, money that they think they can raise or money that they already have in place. And so you basically go through all the different departments and put together a full line item budget for what you think the movie's going to cost to make. So and then as a creative producer, which I do sort of hand in hand, is you collaborate with a writer, director, sort of from the beginning and um, try to piece the entire film together, including the casting of the film, um, which later leads to getting a really great crew together, cinematographer, production designer, all the great key departments, and then, you know, putting the movie together through production and post-production festivals and distribution. So, I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot of information. Yeah. So, uh, so what is it, <laughs> what does, what does it look like to put a budget together? Like, why do movies cost so much money? Right. So, well, there are various budgets, and obviously with, digital technology you can make movies for a lot less than you used to be able to make movies for well, how come why is digital cheaper um well you don't have to process film so basically all you need to do is have a camera um and on the very cheap you just need a camera and you basically need the cards the memory cards you plug it into like some people have edited movies on their laptops and um gone to the sundance film festival with those movies or documentaries um there was a time when you had to have a film lab and you had to get all the film processed and transferred and you had to do a digital intermediate. There's a lot of technical things that went into making and shooting a f movie on film. Um, so that digital, were also really expensive. Expensive and tedious and involved paying a lot of like extra people. I think ultimately film movies can sometimes look a lot better. I think digital has come leaps and bounds since the beginning and it's almost hard to tell sometimes when you're watching a movie shot on digital but I think what it does is it allows filmmakers to do movies on a lower budget with less people and it really um, sort of makes it opens up film to the masses which is good and bad because you obviously get some bad movies in there um, but <laughs> I think it allows a lot of creativity you also don't with film you always have to reload you only have a certain amount of time with each film uh, reel and on digital you have like these sort of 50 60 minute cards you can just keep rolling and getting like as much footage as you could possibly get so it's a lot um, it is can be easier on set although sometimes you have a lot of footage you don't end up using well so e despite digital medium or media uh, it's still really expensive so where are the other costs well, you know, it all depends. You can make a movie for very little and you can, you know, have a tiny crew of five to ten people and you, they can work for free and uh, you can just pay for to feed them and do a couple of, uh, you know, pay to feed them and 
you can get free locations and things like that. Um, but to do a real movie, even on like a low budget scale, um, you have to pay crew, you have to pay for locations. So any location that you see in a movie when you watch a film, like a restaurant, an apartment, every one of those places costs money. Uh, you have to pay for the crew and film crews are, there's a lot of people, it depends, it can be small, it can be big, but you have you have your production designer and his his or her department, which is the whole art department of the movie. You have the costume department. You have the hair and makeup department. You have the grips and electrics who work with the cinematographer to move the lights and to make everything look pretty. You have the camera department. Uh, there's just a lot of people that you have to involve. It's a real uh, sort of team process. It's And it's a big team. It's and, a big team. And so then, as a producer, you're basically the boss of those people you're the manager yeah and you're also kind of a babysitter because <laughs> people <laughs> like to complain like with any other profession somehow film crews like to complain more it seems um you know the hours can be really tough i think sometimes harder than nine to five jobs and i think a pro as a producer you have to sort of deal with that consequence if you have a really long some days on film sets are 15 to 19 hour days, you know, some days are 12 hour days, generally not less than 12 hours. And you mentioned the, the pre-production, production and post-production. And so now you're talking more about production itself. Yeah. This is when you're actually making the film, right. shooting the film. Yeah. And so what does your typical day look like as a producer on set? Uh, well, a typical day for me as a producer is, uh, you generally try to get there before the crew gets there, at least I do, um, and that's just the way I've always been. Um, so let's say the call time, which is what they say for the time that everybody on the crew needs to come to set is the call time. So let's say the call time is 7 a.m. Uh, I usually try to arrive, some of the crew, like the production assistants and the production team will arrive an hour earlier than everybody else to get everything set up. Because on a typical day on a film set, you have a holding space that you have to get organized before the crew comes, which is for hair and makeup and the actors. And basically, on big movies, you have giant trailers and teamsters that drive the trailers for the actors. On small movies, it's sometimes like a church basement um, or wherever you can get. So an hour before everyone gets there, you set up the holding space. And I usually like to get there when you know those early risers get there. So I'm there at 6 a.m., a normal day would shoot from about 7 a.m. to 7 or 8 p.m. That's like an easy day. And then I usually either leave right then if I feel like everything's under control or I'll stay for the extra hour until everything's wrapped out of the location that we're filming in. And then during that time, you're putting out fires and you're managing the budget and you're managing cast and crew. Yeah, on a typical day, anything comes up. Like one of our big lights stops working and you have to trade out a light. Oftentimes, you know, as a creative producer on slightly bigger movies, you'll have a line producer that's a separate position and a production manager that works under the line producer. And those people specifically put out, the, the line producer and the production manager deal with putting out fires of equipment, lights, um, the power went out in holding, and so the hair and makeup people can't do the actors' hair and makeup. You know, those things kind of go under their jurisdiction, and as a creative producer, you make sure the director has everything they need, the actors are taken care of, you know, the crew for the most part is happy, and you basically go throughout the day making sure that you finish your day on schedule and you try not to go into overtime, you know, which means a lot of working with the line producer and the production manager and everyone on the crew. Uh, and oftentimes when you have big actors, your job is to make sure those actors are comfortable and not unhappy, because that's a bad situation. <laughs> and so uh, last week we talked with um, Sofian Khan, who, you know, is a, a DP, and he talked a little bit about how he works with the director. So how does a producer work with a director? Um, you know, it depends. With every director I've worked with on short films to the feature films that I've done, it's always a little different. Um you know, with some directors I've worked with, I've had a really, I've had a history with them. And, and, you know, most of the time you have a real trust relationship between the creative producer and the director. So mostly you're there uh, for support and you're there to bounce ideas off of throughout the course of the day. And uh, you're also there sometimes to rush them when you feel like they're moving slowly. Um, you know, it's, it's a real, you know, it's just like a balancing act to making sure everybody is at their 
you know, highest performing uh, state. So by doing, you know, it just means taking care of everything, making sure they're good. And so oftentimes it just means I'm a sounding board for ideas and things like that. So all in all, it's pretty stressful, but pretty rewarding job. Yes, it's very stressful. And it oftentimes doesn't feel rewarding until it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> In and hindsight. You, and you sell the film, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it is, it's really fun and especially fun to watch. At the end of the day, you know, oftentimes the next day you'll get the dailies, which is all the footage that you shot from the day before, and you get to sit down with the director and sometimes the actors if they want to watch them, and sometimes the crew, and it's just amazing to kind of watch everything that you've worked for. You know, each day you see the footage and it kind of makes it all worthwhile. Well, thanks for talking. Thanks for having me. Yeah, next week I'm going to have you back because you used to be a script supervisor. Yes, that's how I learned everything I know. So we will talk about that next week. Thanks. Thanks.